All right, so it doesn't matter. So I like the choice I made first the best. Well, we're here. I see no reason not to press on. Ghost of a Samurai. Well, Richard, I have heard about you from the new bride. What brings you to a place like this? This residence is always kept clean and tidy by order of uh, the new bride in preparation for visitors. Therefore, there are no tricks at all. However, as a result of the Lord transferring the miasma near the entrance to here in order to invite visitors, the back of this room is a more complicated and powerful wandering spirits are wandering around. Some of our compatriots who have not heard her voice are running amok, just like the wandering spirits. It's utterly deplorable. The wandering spirits up ahead have a characteristic that makes them weak to the ice attribute. Although some are more so than others. I hope that is of some help. Alright. What have you got for us? And of course, there's the samurai they were talking about. We don't need no ice attribute. There's the door. <laughs> All right. Let's continue exploring. Oh. You've heard the old tales from the village, haven't you? <clears throat> My lord had no intention of harming the lord. They had no intention of taking and eating them. I had served the Lord before his death, but the new bride was devoted to him as if they were husband and wife, and the Lord was actually more energetic than before. It's just, the lady was too careless with the lordship title. Even adults with strong hearts can become... Uh, Useless after a few days after being doted on so much. Lady gave them too much of what they asked for. Since then, the lady has been deepening her own knowledge by reading books and interacting with merchants. Surely now, I'm sure the bride, new bride would make the same mistake. All right, get back here, you. Huh? There are two exits. So we'll start with this one over here.
Did you encounter a mantis nanny? That pitiful float wandering spirit is allowed to remain in the mansion by the mercy of my lord. Those wandering spirits are too strong in their grudge to be completely purified even by an ordinary demon exorcist of today. They are a collection of pitiful souls wandering around in search of their, of their lost children. She allows those spirits the freedom to do so on the condition that they are pitied and not harmed. It does not matter if the target is an adult or a child. But the but the mantis nanny all herself has always had a strong sense of remorse and she is quite a quiet being by nature. Please do not give her a hard time. If you treat her with friendliness and not hostility, she will respond to you in a straightforward manner. Because she is a sucking demon, she does not have advanced thinking. Alright. Yeah, this has got to be the outer door, right? Hmm? I could have sworn it was that one I took. Huh. I think they got them mixed up. The teleports are wrong. You got them swapped there, bud! Now that's a huge deal. Why does the nanny take on the form of a mantis? You're curious about this, aren't you? Once upon a time, a praying mantis was known as a worshipping insect, and its posture was often compared to praying to the gods. It was also said that the mantis was immobile while waiting for its prey. The new bride says, I think it is a result of the nanny's final image of their babies begging for their lives, projected onto the worshipping, onto the mantises of this place. What a tragic story. If we of this mansion, when we were once lords, had been there, such a tragedy might not have occurred. No, that's just a fleeing tale. Forget all about it. There's a door. There's an door. So I'll take this one. Ah, okay. Just which side you go on. Oh, hello. Goodbye.
Oh, there's the door. Huh? Huh? Have I seen three demons recently? Nothing recent. I saw them just the other day. But at the time, they just they were just rummaging around in the corner of a room down the street and left. I reported the suspicious uh, people to the new bride, but she just said to leave it be. Well, as far as I can, could see, they weren't particularly interested in this. You're not saying that you know them, do you? Do it. All right, you got here. Yeah, might as well save here. Part of the floor has been removed, revealing a hatch leading to the basement. Obviously, this does not say stay in line with the ambience of the mansion. If you look closely, you can see what looks like a letter left by the hatch weighing da weighed down with a stone. Richard opened the red letter and read it. Dear Richard, I thought you it would be difficult for you to understand this situation like this, so I opened the floor while you were having fun, I did. Written by Meg, obviously. However, as I have said before, the inside is full of wandering spirits. Instead of people, it is. Even if it, you, as a priest, it will not be easy to search for it. If you are not in good physical condition or prepared, I suggest you return to town to regroup. That you should. Good luck, Mick. Meg, you went out of your way to get out of the magic seal and remove the floorboards? Those three can be active at night. Meg is a very conscientious fellow. Leave a letter so politely. This is the entrance to the Elmo W facility. At least that's where it should lead to. All right, all right. It's time for the past of this mysterious mark to be revealed. I don't know what kind of wandering spirits are around there. I don't know what kind of wandering spirits are wandering around there, but as Meg said, be careful. We're fine. We have literally zero issues. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Oh my! <laughs> well, this is certainly looks like the place of Richard's memories. This is quite the situation. The power supply to the facility seems to be dead. Even considering that the facility was built eight years ago, the blood stains are still red and there are cracks and the cracks in the facility are unnatural. 
It's as if time has standing still. Hmm? What is it, Richard? Yes, this place looks far too familiar. I know it. I know this place! Oh, so that's what you look like, huh? Richard? Hey, Key? Wow! The old man said we could use all the equipment in the facility. Of course, we have our own private rooms, but we also have a huge hall, just like an examination hall. That's the Ministry of Defense for you, huh? There's you before you lost your mind. The Minister of Defense. Michitaka. I never thought they would suddenly entrust us, who are still in high school, with such a facility. Even if it's to save the world, I wonder if we'll be able to live up to their expectations. And there's Richard. Before he was Richard. Oh, those are some eyes he's got there. It's not as if we can respond, it's that we have to. Through that battle, we learned about the providence of the world and the possibilities of demons and humans. A world where demons and humans can coexist. From now on, let's study and study and study to make it for ourselves. Well, at least you want a world where demons and humans can coexist. I guess it's just MOW's tactics aren't exactly tasteful. That was... that was an old memory! The child slots resided in the mansion above as well. Apparently, the concentration of the miasma in this area is higher than normal air. In many cases, the signs of ghosts and demons in high places are not wandering spirits, but people who mistook this phenomenon for ghosts. And but we can see them way too clearly. What in the world happened here? But save the world did me and those two do such a great thing what what do you think about the magic mark as for nina can you remember anything about her no there's still too little information Let's check the facility more and pick up what information is left. Oh yeah, things are... We're getting closer to the truth. Step by step. Okay, can't walk there. Oh, this music, it's just... It's too intense for what's going on. You must be a wandering spirit. <sighs> Hi, Mecca! <laughs> Bye, Mecca! Okay. Got a card key for MOW Facility Researcher. <sighs> Jesus, these things drop a lot of stuff! <laughs>
Okay. The computer in the security office is in place. The computer itself seems to have a live battery, as the panel is faintly glowing. The monitor is cracked, but cracked, but the monitor is cracked, but it seems to be manageable with the control panels. The power supply is dead, but the backup power supply is still operational. Maybe I can at least get the doors to open and close? Alright, turn the power on. Card key was used. About this facility. This facility is a research facility built by the Real World Defense Organization, MOW, under the control of the Ministry of Defense. 19 year, it month, that day. The sudden descent and invasion of Lilith, the Empress of Evil, has brought the real world to a temporary standstill. However, Michitaka Toka and Eiki Yamahara, who were students at Higashiyama High School at the time, and Richard, who was staying abroad at the time, joined MOW in confronting Lilith's forces. They had a rare constitution that made them resistant to the magical elements of the demon world and Michitaka Taoka in particular had a special gene called the Atom Factor and was the only trump card that could deal an effective blow to Lilith. After a fierce battle, Lilith was defeated and the demon army retreated to the demon world thanks to the efforts of the three high school students although they too suffered heavy casualties. So they did save the world, goodness. Those three have seen many things about the position of demons and humans in the midst of battle. No one would want peace between a man and demon more than they do. The symbiotic relationship between humans and demons. This facility was established with that one goal in mind. Underneath the documents was a picture of one of them. Oh, what? Underneath the documents was a picture. Okay, so the redhead has to be Michitaka. Right? That's got to be Mizuki's uh, brother. Dang, look at them. Uh, on the occasion uh, of the first appointment of the three chiefs, Michitaka, Eiki, and Richard. Richard. The silver-haired man is me? I feel like I'm looking at someone else. Yeah, for one thing, his eyes are red, yours are blue. Richard, what the hell did you do? The plot thickens. <laughs> Looks like a control panel for the bulkheads on each floor. Looks like it could open up the bulkheads in the area adjacent to this one. Uh, 
assessment of, of faculties. <clears throat> when the minister told me that he had entrusted three high school students to head the facility, I questioned the sanity of this organization, but now I see that their abilities are real. He has been steadily acquiring knowledge about demons, collecting data, not for people with an aptitude for demons, like MOW, but for ordinary people without power. Although the Lilith invasion did not result in anything serious, it made me realize that there are limits to what a background backroom organization like MOW can handle. After all, they are too small to protect the world. In addition, now that the public has become aware of the existence of demons, explanations and countermeasures are urgently needed. Now is the time for such a research facility. From now on, not only demon exorcism experts, I suppose the general public will have to adapt to demons as well. Vice Minister Ozaki. Right, so we can go that way. Is there any other way we can go? I assume not. Alright, let's go. These things drop a lot of stuff. <laughs> Next, we can start with A1. Come! Anyone who puts a fist in me will get ever whatever they want at the cafeteria. Don't be shy. Come and get it! You're very... Okay, so the redhead is Michitaka. All right. You are very energetic, Michitaka. Are you also collecting bow data for training purposes? But you have to be more moderate, or you'll run out of demons willing to help you with your experiments. There is no demon in this facility that can compete with you anymore. This is a top secret facility in the outside world, even in the demon world. The demons who trust you and follow you are our main research subjects. Well, I'm not exactly suited for research after all. Instead of typing data into a computer, I'm better suited to talking with my fists like this! If you're willing to cooperate with me, let's go directly to the demon world to scout for great demons like we did in the old days. That's what we're supposed to do, right? Well, unlike you, I'm not good at those fist-talking negotiations, so I don't feel like I can negotiate with a demon like you can. Physical, mental, and action. It is often said that human personality can be roughly divided into these three categories. Okay, mind, body, spirit, I think is what it's supposed to be. Really, even if one of the three of us happened missing, I'm sure the world wouldn't have been saved. That's right. That stuff-sucking demon we captured the other day. We completed the analysis. We've also established a safe method for him to be... Uh, fed. If it's okay with you, would you be willing to go back to the lab and work with the sperm drawer and donate your stuff to the lab? S hey, hey, come on, that's... Don't tell me you want me to be bad touched by a demon! 
Don't be ridiculous. Besides, since we're in a laboratory, doesn't that mean that all the researchers would be able to see me? Yes, stuff, blood, and other body fluids. It's an experiment to see how it's ingested by the demon. Once alternatives and... Uh, once alternative means are established, demons will lo no longer need to randomly attack humans. It's legitimate research. Uh, n no, but... This is a public display, right? When I, couldn't I be able to do it in a private room? Uh, I, I don't think so. Let the researchers who like that kind of thing do it. Uh, well then it can't be helped. I'll hold off on the experiment with data from the researchers excluding you. I certainly wouldn't like to be seen by a large group either. That structure and simulation of the organs to used to corrupt humans, after all, you can't do research unless you experience it for yourself. I asked the office to prefer a sperm donation, a masturbatory device for you. Sorry for the interruption, Michitaka. N no! I knew it! I'll do it! It's, it's for research! <laughs> In return, you two better make sure that you're there when I'm there, you hear me? <laughs> Alright. We got plenty of levels for now. Alright. Two notes, huh? Combat record. Experimental log one. Target indigo male. Ex uh, executor Michitaka. Takaoka match duration 3.55 seconds. Result Michitaka wins. Comment. They can't compete with Michitaka. What kind of data are you asking me to get in uh, four seconds? From now on, combat data will be collected by general researchers. Chief Richard. Alright. <laughs> Experimental log. Target. Imp male. Executor. General researcher. Data exposed. Duration, 5 minutes, 21 seconds. Result, Imp's victory. You lost to an Imp? Come on. I used a person with no training to try it out, and the reaction and results were generally as expected. They didn't even know that the Imps didn't want to kill them, and they were running for cover. Although they should not look scary to an average person, imps and wild animals alike seem to be seen as beings that can cause harm. Chief Richard. Experimental log number seven. Target goblin, male. Executor, general researcher. Match time, three minutes and 44 seconds. Match result, blank wins. I gave him a magic knife and instructed him to challenge melee combat. I see. He is a brilliant judge of arms. The demon or knife is also a prototype, which means it can't traumatize the demon. But still, a well-trained soldier can still wrestle the demon to the ground, Chief Richard. 
Experimental log number 12, target wet woman, female. Performer, general researcher. Match, time 31 seconds. Results, wet woman wins. Performer loses will to fight. He had won many fights in a row, but this time his opponent was wrong. In other words, he should not have used Kumite against his opponent this time. So when the demon is of the opposite sex, sexual temptation is a worthy battle. This is something we can't do with just our prowess. Maybe we can use uh, sperm demons that we captured earlier for our experiment, Chief Richard. Experimental log number 13. Target, wet woman. Executor, Michitaka. Match time, seven seconds. Results, Michitaka wins. Comment. I now understand what you mean. He's a muscle head of a brother. Chief Richard. Yeah, so he is Mizuki's brother. All right, I gotcha. He definitely is Mizuki's brother. So I was right. I'm not crazy. But it's weird. I thought Michi Taka would have a, a higher place in MOW. Oh, let's read these things. About the Atom Factor. The Atom Factor is the name of a special gene that only one person in the Institute, Michi Taka Takoka, possesses. Those with this gene are able to directly interfere with demonic elements and affect the target with physical attacks that would normally not work against demons. Among its features, it should be noted that it can inflict physical damage on the demoness Lilith, who can be called the mother of all demons. The exact reason for this effect is unknown, but we at MOW have, been, have chosen to call this particular genetic code the Atom Factor, in reference to the myth of Adam, Eve, and Lilith. The blessing of God even pure the man's faith in God. In other words, it is the blessing of Adam, the primordial man, that touches Lilith. We interpret it as such. At present, there are no other persons with the Atom Factor other than Michitaka Tako Taoka. We are treating him as our trump card against Lilith. Alright, that's good. Right. Open up the bulkhead in the adjacent area. Jesus, such a lore dump! <laughs> I've certainly gotten plenty of levels here. So many choices. I see. So this one's wrong. Okay. Right, we got two choices there, one choice there. Let's go to this one. Oh, that leads to a chest. Looks like a path forward, but it's blocked right now. Let's 
Let's see, what is this? A sword hilt like object is placed on a pedestal. On a panel to the wall beside, there seems to be an explanation. The weapon used by Aiki Yamahara during the decisive battle with Lilith. It could embody the user's magical element like that in the form of a blade and possess the power of the whole forest, enabling it to carry out a variety of attacks. It is a weapon that is uh, typical of Aiki, who is rich in knowledge and wisdom. Aiki himself was unable to damage Lilith because, herself because he does not have the Atom Factor. But as Michitaka's right-hand man, he defeated numerous Demon Kings. As a side note, it is said that before Aiki came in contact with M.O.W., he called his magical element manipulation the Force, in reference to a certain science fiction movie. <laughs> the Force is strong with this one. There's a sticky note on the panel that says, Can you erase that last sentence that says, <laughs> No. up here. Oh, I see. The wandering spirit can just pass through the wall now, can it? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, no. We can't. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. How's Lilith doing? I hope the ceiling wards are functioning properly. She's been quiet in the basement. So far, there has been no signs of any attempt to break the seal, and to be honest, the guards are a bit disappointed. I went to see them last week too, but they said they had a request to see you several times right up until the last minute. Why don't you go to the Michitaka? You're kidding! I don't like them! She, uh, look, she looks at me like I'm her ex-boyfriend. Besides, if I went to see them, they'd probably start rampaging around like it was revenge, and I'd be in over my head. Lilith was supposed to be Adam's wife before Eve was created, although this is not an accurate translation or interpretation. Your ex-boyfriend is more accurate than one might think. And don't worry about breaking the seal. Since the fierce battle of Michitaka, she has used up all of her magical power. It will take many years before she regains her original strength. But honestly, there doesn't seem to be much benefit in keeping her sealed up, given the budget for security and power. We can't get any more data out of her. In the demon world, it seems that demons in the faction who have become numb to Lucifer's static attitude are making plans to recapture them. It's time to let them go. I agree. If it leads to a second satanic war or something like that, that would be a laughable joke. I'll talk to MOW's upper management too. The last steam in the making project is paying off nicely. I'm sure I'll get a good response. I don't like it much. Not about Lilith. It's about this Mozo Demon. Or our official demon, I guess. I agree to the plan. But to create demons to protect humans, it's clearly forbidden by God. I thought I explained the justification for my plan well enough. I, 
You still don't like the idea of going against morality? Of course, our ultimate goal is to share our awareness through dialogue and exchange with demons. But the de damage caused by demons in the world is increasing day by day. Not every human being can resist the demons like we can. But eventually, we must have the means to defend ourselves. The technology is still too underdeveloped to use tools, and the machines are still lacking in enhancements. The only way to fight demons is with demon ability. There are more than a few demons who, like humans, cannot be reconciled. You know that, don't you? That's for sure. There are those who can't understand each other even if you talk to them. There are those who can't understand each other with their fists. But you know... The creature of creation is a creature that only protects human beings. It is neither a demon nor a human being. And moreover, it does not have a will of its own. You have the most affection for demons because you are in contact with them through the demon summoning program. You probably see Zoma as one demon. For Michitaka, we have another plan. A project to bridge the gap between humans and demons. The Messiah Project. I would like you to go to each and every one of the abominable children listed here and ask for their cooperation. Of course, you can use any method you like. The abominable children. The children born between humans and demons. Forbidden, even in the demon realm. If you do well, perhaps the uh, Zoma project will no longer be necessary. Go for it, Michitaka. Oh, of course! Wait for me! I'll bring it back here as soon as I can! I'll go back up there before long. Oh, I never did check this, did I? A huge gun is placed on a pedestal. On a panel on the wall beside it, there seems to be an explanation. The MTTK Special, Michi Taka Special. It was the firearm used by Michi Taka Takaoka during the decisive battle with Lilith. So that's what MTTK Special stands for. It is a dangerous weapon that uses special magic ore called death sign stone in its production and if anyone un other than Michitaka uses it their life force will be instantly taken away with the atom factor only the special constitution of Michitaka Tauka can use this ultimate weapon it was truly the ultimate trump card against Lilith currently MOW is making co- Exerted efforts to devise a recipe for producing a replica that can be used by ordinary people without using a death sign stone and with as little reduction in its destructive power as possible. Alright. That must mean that the error pestle has Richard's weapon. A rosary is placed in a case uh, on a pedestal. So even before he used priestly powers? That's unusual. On a panel on the wall beside there seems to be an explanation. The rosary of divine authority is the holy bracelet that Richard used during his decisive battle with Lilith. 
Richard, who had always been a follower of his own religion, learned that the power of his prayers could be used as a weapon against demons, and together with Michitaka and Eiki, he confronted Lilith's army. Richard could not join the other two in battle because of his sickly constitution, but the power of his faith greatly weakened the demon arc. His sickly constitution! I beg your pardon! Have you seen Richard's massive guns? <laughs> And later, it was generally his uh, contribution that established the effectiveness of faith around the world as a means for humans to resist demons. This holy trinket. I could use it right now. Uh, it looks like the blood-like liquid sticks around and doesn't have the power it should. I'll stick with what I've got for now. I am doing fine. No reason to really change it up. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> About abominations. Abomination is, to put it simply, a t generic term for a mixed race born between a demon and a human. The purpose of demon sexual activity with humans is to contract souls and collect energy, which is the source of magical power enhancement. But rarely do demons have romantic feelings for humans, according to human standards. Some of these demons try to carry a child in their womb using the sperm they have ingested, just as humans do. But demons with common sense do not do this. This is because a child born in this way will be different from both humans and demons, both in appearance and in ability. I don't know, the Alrani we saw didn't look that different. They are often mentally unstable. Okay, that part I'll give you. <laughs> she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, that is for sure. Such children are hated even in the demon world, and are persecuted by those around them as abominable children, and their parents are even stripped of their social status. Naturally, even in the human world, their appearance and abilities make it difficult for them to attend regular schools and other facilities, making child rearing extremely difficult. It would be the first choice for any parent who cares about his or her child. The document below this looks like another document. It appears to be a page from some kind of report. No. This abomination is a reflection of human society in the demon world. It would be an extended interpretation of discrimination which is the eternal issue of our human race. The abilities of the abomination are worth studying. It combines characteristics of both demons and humans. It is truly a potential bridge between the two races. A leader of both races, human and demon, and never, never, ever go astray, the absolute savior of the world. The Messiah Project, a project of hope for us, the human race and demons, Richard. All right. Another 
note over here. About the Zuma project. Or Zoma project. The Zoma project uh, is a project devised by Chief Richard to produce artificial biological weapons. It uses Lilith's materialization demon element samples as a base, artificially reproducing the process of demon materialization while building cellular tissue that can be active in the real world. The practical capabilities have already been proven, and plans are currently underway for Phase 3, which will bring the appearance closer to that of higher dimensional life forms, commonly known as angels. Ultimately, 22 units will be manufactured for deployment throughout the world. These creatures will be given the title of Arcana based on their total number, and each will be given an external characteristic. Interesting. Oh, we have a save location! Looks like control panel for the bulkheads. Use the uh, open bulkheads, alright. Fair enough. Whoa. A bottle of child. Okay, you don't certainly look like the R1. Michitaka, when will I become human? Medicine and shots, we are all just trying to be patient. We're doing the best we can. Oh, soon! I promised you when I brought you back from the village. It's going to get better. Richard, Aki, and everyone else are doing their best to make you human. We're almost there, Mayor. There's nothing wrong with you or your mother. If you're going to be bullied because of the way you look, the lads become human and surprise the uh, people in that village. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, when I become a human, you'll take me to the sea, right? I want to go on a boat. A big one. Ah, of course. That's what I promised you when we left the village. Wait and see. I'll take you on a big boat and take you around the world. Let's keep going and see the world. <sighs> Apparently it didn't work. God said it is. Subject, Maya. Subject, Maya. Born from a human male and a snow woman. Before the experiment characteristics, pale skin. Unconsciously unleashes ice magic. Can change the body temperature from 0 to negative 30 degrees Celsius at will. Day 1. Lilith Marmaline and Ringer Solution Mixture was administered at a ratio of 2 to 8. Physical changes began 11 hours after administration. Day 3. 10.42am. 10, 10 Tentacles, probably due to beta anomaly, were produced from the abdomen and on the face. The right eye socket became enlarged, and the left leg sunk and de degenerated to approximately human form. Day 4, 3.13 a.m. 
Calm with sedatives, but cardiac arrest 41 minutes later when seizure suddenly began. CPR is attempted, but that he is pronounced dead. It seems it is impossible to improve their ability simply by injecting magical elements into them. Blank not only it only makes them look like monsters, but does not change their abilities, Chief Richard. How unfortunate. <laughs> So that's why he looks so monstrous. It's not how he normally looks. So damn it, you only made it worse. You should focus on trying to get them more acceptable to either the human or the demon realm before you try to make them stronger. Subject, Kalua. Abomination from an incubus and human female. Pre-experiment characteristics. Flight by wings and demonic wings sprouting from the waist. Unaware from fascination. Unaware fascination with human women. Day one. Physical performance changes were observed after six milligram doses at a 5 to 95 ratio of a mixture of Lilith Memoronium and Ether Saturated Solution. Day 3, 1808. Wing is removed from the base and subject loses ability to fly. Subject is pleased, but after 5 minutes complains about physical problems. Ten minutes later, an incident occurs. All the female researchers in the facility were mesmerized by the subject, screaming for her so. Edited. Upon learning of the situation, the subject became mentally unstable. He informed us that he could not be controlled, so at his request, we shot him dead on the spot and confirmed his death. Comment. This time it worked well until the middle of the process. The mixture used to dilute the magical element seems to work better with ether saturated solution. But is it really effective to use the lowest magical element? Now let's try the exact opposite factor. Chief Richard. Yep, you can't uh, erase your sins of what you did to these poor abominations. But I'm sure that's not the big sin that he's worried about. Could it be that Nina started out as an abomination? I mean, considering the other biological weapons from Shrift 1, Nina would be kind of out of place if she was born a human. Because Lucy is, of course, the White Witch. She's an extremely powerful succubus. And then we have Titanoboa, who was Lamia from ancient mythology. Nina would really stick out then be odd to include her in that group. Uh, let's see. Did we miss anything? Nope. Alright. Well, let's continue. Oh, this one looks very bloody. Subject, Viola. Abomination between Al Rane and a human male. Before the experiment, the right arm part is covered in uh, composed of plant ivy. With emotionally unstable, the plant is generated in the demon world. Day 1. Adam's factor element is extracted from blood taken from Michitaka Taoka and administered in a 5 to 95 ratio of ether saturated liquid mixture. Minutes later, the body shows abnormal swelling. After 30 seconds, ruptured with explosion as 
as it was. Death is confirmed due to lack of life activity. The scale of damage to the, re to the researcher has been edited. Oh wait. The scale of damage to the researcher is data expunged. <laughs> Gotta read this kind of like an SCP note. <laughs> Well, it was foreseen that the Divine Blessing was mixed into the body of the Abomination containing the magical element, and it must have been rejected. The way to counteract the magical element in the Abomination's body would first be unbearable due to the enormous amount of energy involved in counteracting it. It would be hopeless to return to normal human life. Chief Richard. Alright, so we cannot make them human. But make them more, more demon-like. Or, you know, just make it so that uh, humans or demons will accept them as is. That's another possibility. Do a bit of social work! Subject, Toya. Abomination between a dryad and human male. Pre-experimental characteristics. Not confirmed. Parents were involved in a war between the demon world forces, and they have already died. Day 1. Lilith, mana, atoms, factor, and ether, saturated solution. Ratio of uh, 1, 1, 8. 3 milligrams. No significant changes were observed. Oh, three days later, no significant changes were observed. Day 3. Lilith, uh, mana, atom factor, and ether saturated solution. Ratio of 1, 1, 8, 3 mil 6 milligrams. Three days later, no significant changes were observed. Day 7. Lilith, uh, mana, atoms factor, and ether sa saturation solution. Ratio of 1, 1, 8. Two hours later, an incident occurred. Two hours later, incident 071-1 occurred. The subject took 12 minutes to grow into an adult female or mid-teens. She then follows the male researcher who is not resistant to magic with fascination and performs a large-scale offensive action. The subject was conscious, and Michitaka Taoka called out to him, but he was un unresponsive. The subject uh, appeared to be enjoying the situation. The mental interference jamming device is activated, but no effect is seen. To prevent further damage, the researcher is shot dead, followed by the subject. Comment. Damage here was extensive, but this time we were able to obtain meaningful data. Atom factor and Lilith element can coexist. But in light of the results of the last experiment, simply administering the same dose is enough. Is it necessary to have some kind of innate predisposition? That and the fact that all the potential subjects are mentally immature or unstable is a major challenge. They should be the ones to lead people and demons, Chief Richard. Alright, that way's closed. Richard! Hey, Key! How long are you going to keep doing this, huh? Just a moment ago! Mikai, stop breathing! That's the 15th one! Everyone believed in me, and followed me. They were made into a human experimental subject in a facility like this, with the slightest hope that they could become human! Do you guys think nothing of this? This is... This is what psychopaths do! Me 
Ichitaka, you're speaking too loudly. The subjects in the next room can hear you. Of course we are heartbroken. From the bottom of our hearts we want them to be at peace. We wish we could have given them a normal life. But we are trying to accomplish is but, but what we are trying to accomplish is uncharted territory that no one has ever reached. That's why you had to do some kind of initial trial before doing the <laughs> before doing large-scale experiments like this on humans or sentient creatures. You got the stuff-sucking demons. Have them, re -pre -re have them re procreate with some kind of animal or something and then try to get that normal. Then move on to the next stage. You guys are not going about this in a way that makes any sense. You're just... The, those abominations are not high in number. Every single one of them is precious, even before you get to their lives. Uh, if we are afraid of failure, we will never develop further. Being afraid of failure is one thing. Blindly proceeding with just random experimentation is another. You are a kind-hearted person. I'm sure you feel sympathy for that poor test subject, but we can't stop here. Even as we do this, the damage caused by demons in the human world is increasing. There's not a moment to lose. These abominations are a guiding presence for man and demon. Unless the vessel of the Messiah is established, people and demons will never understand each other. If we stop our research here, we will never be able to face the sacrifices they've made. Don't you agree, Michitaka? I've had enough of this. I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. I'd rather do the Zoma project than this. You've changed, you guys. We wanted peace between man and demons. I don't accept necessary sacrifices. I'll take care of those kids from now on. I have that responsibility. I don't mind. Frankly, I would have liked a little more assurance, but we already have enough experimental data. It's about time to move the Messiah project into its final phase. It's worth a try. All right. Read this first. Memo by Aki. During a dinner with Deputy Minister Ozaki, I heard an interesting story. The Demon Seal is a special ability given by demons to certain contractors. Interesting. Deputy Minister Ozaki is rich in this kind of knowledge because he is a government bureaucrat and a Samaritan belonging to MOW. What was supposed to be a dinner to carry favor with the minister turned out to be very meaningful. I asked Richard, who was also in attendance, for his opinion, and it seems he is in complete agreement with me. The, this was the turning point of the Messiah Project. The magic seal was the key to resolving all problems. They immediately proceeded with preparations, but I decided to change the plan without telling Michitaka. He would not be pleased with this plan. 
Leaders are not fit for immature abominations. It is people like us, with our superior aptitude, who deserve to be messiahs. Oh, your arrogance got the better of you, did ya? <laughs> Don't want to let the young abominations have their spotlight. You want to have yours. Got chief authentication key. Alright, bulkhead control. Alright, looks like down here. There's the glass that held many a demon. A001. Toro Dawn. Status blink. Chief authentication queue is used. Compounding atoms factor. Lilith demon element. Ether saturated liquid. Ratio 1 to 1 to 8. 3 milligrams. Use of Komodo Dragon Lizard Factor was an enhancement medium for the mixture of the fallen. A numbers have a policy of incorporating animal factors from the human world to improve physical performance. The first, Toro Dawn, can be considered a great success. Considering the experiments with uh, abomination children, the human who will be used for the base body will be an adult, or a woman who is close to adulthood. Although changes in appearance can be cannot be separated, right? although changes in appearance cannot be spared, the ability is stable. However, because it is human based, it was not expected to have much combat capability as a biological weapon. Another issue is that they do not want to voluntarily kill their targets. I missed out so much it's repulsive. Time wise I guess it was less than a year. I spent many nightmarish days here. They put a weird device in me. They put animals in my room and told me to kill them. I can't tell you how many tantrums and outbursts I've had. Indeed. This has to be where the blob girl is, Katane. C zero zero dawn. Oh, oh, C zero zero dawn. Pull off. Status blink. Chief authentication key was used. Mixture of atoms factor, Lilith mana, ether saturated liquid. Ratio one one eight three milligrams. Yeah, exactly. Okay. A demon king recruited by Mizuki, Michitaka's sister. The original demon element may have been too strong, but there was little change in their abilities or appearance due to the administration of the drug. Since the first researcher who administered the drug has been tur turned into, into a servant demon, and the only people who com can compete with her are Michitaka and his sister, the experiment is currently on hold, and the proposal to use the drug in the project is pending. She is currently working under the supervision of Vice Minister Ozaki on assassination, 
and extermination missions of important persons at, on a facility scale. I'm always impressed with MOW's skill in destroying evidence. Yes, I was in this room, being dropped into the site where they were being served and devouring the people there. Of course, I was dissatisfied with the caged life, but most of the things I required were provided, and well, it was not uncomfortable at all. More than anything else, I could eat people without the demon world knowing about it, or the human world making a fuss about it. The, advanti the advantages of that were, more, were most appealing to me. Alright, can't go down, have to go up. A002 Oni Connictus A003 Beelzebulfog A004 Pro Procoptodon Status Blank <clears throat> Use Chief Authentication Key Atom Factor Lilith Demon Element Ether Saturated Liquid Ratio 1, 1, 8. Administered 3 milligrams, 6 milligrams, 12 milligrams. Respectively to the bat, frog, and kangaroo factors as reinforcing mediators. They tend to be less disintegrated and distressed by their own abilities than the abjects because of their stable mental state. These three also seem to have already begun to adapt to their own abilities. We found that the factor that mediates does not change the strength of the ability of any animal that is compatible with the human world. A numbers is about as far as we can go here. I mean, this is about as far as we can go with A numbers. However, Michitaka has seen the budget list of animals used in the experiment. It'll only be a matter of time before he finds out that they are not abominations. Oh my! So, w without telling Michitaka, they started using a uh, uh, humans instead of abominations. I mean, it's pretty fucked up regardless, but to do it without even telling your comrade? Jesus. I'm glad you got eight and turned into a servant, uh, Yankee. And Richard, you're not much you're not much better. We'll see what your true sin is. <clears throat> X zero zero zero. Status blank. Nothing happened. Nothing is displayed. It seems like there was no data in the file. The room behind the glass also seems to have been before it was used, unlike the other rooms where nothing was placed. There is a large hole in the ground, but a new collapse has occurred inside and it is unlikely to be able to get inside. Ah, uh, this hole is where we, this hole collapsed. We escaped from here. You seem to have been asleep for a long time. Is that a thing called cold sleep? Does that exist? At some point we were released, but, and by that time the whole facility was missed. Thank goodness Rappy was good at digging holes. I kind of miss how cramped it was with all the supplies. Now we all have our own rooms. Alright. Alright. Let's continue on. Ah, uh, yep. Blood. 
but oh uh, hi uh <laughs> uh Jabberwocky, I guess you're going to tell us that the demon up ahead will just kill us. 